Hi drummers, hope you're well. So just a little quick one for you here about linear drum fills and just sort of getting off the ground with creating your own in particular. And this is going to massively, massively lean on uh, one of my all-time favourite uh, drum books, Time Functioning Patterns by Gary Chafee. Uh, this amazing book here, this has been with me for... 20 years or more, I guess now, and uh, can't recommend it enough. Absolutely love it. I've already put some videos up about the, the bass drum stuff there, the fat back exercises, which in my opinion is one of the all time great like bass drum drills. You know, when you're trying to get those two quick kicks going on your bass drum within your grooves, that's absolutely solid gold drill for that. And in my opinion, this uh, section here, well, so many of the linear drum fills that I end up playing are, when I think about it, it's inspired by just two or three pages of material in this book here, which I came across a while ago, a long time ago, I guess now, but I've just worked with and just ingrained, and it's just just so brilliant. Uh, we'll take it from a really simple angle here, first of all. So linear drum fills, well, they're those drum fills you hear when the drummer plays a whole load of notes in a line, as in note linear in a line, no two things play together, typically involving the right stick and the left stick and the bass drum. I remember being younger and seeing like, it was a DVD or VHS, I guess, of um, Tina Turner, right, live in concert. And uh, the drummer was just playing these amazing drum fills. He was just flying around the kit. And I just remember thinking like, oh, this was, it was like from a different world. Like, why do my drum fills not sound like this? Like he was playing All these sort of fills and I you know my drum fill sounded like you know at the time not that there's anything wrong with that but it was like this other world I was like I so desperately wanted to get to that world of drum fills and I couldn't and it was only much later realized that I, that I realized that this is what it's all about the linear thing and so much of that sort of linear style sometimes called the gospel chop style in not all of it but a lot of it boils down to solid note value all the way through the bar 16th notes or sextuplets or 30 second notes phrase between right and left and kick now in this book in the time functioning patterns book gary chafee puts forward a really simple system for creating linear drum fills and it's solid gold and i just absolutely love using it the basic idea is you take the number of notes you've got so let's do a real simple example do three variations on a simple example today of a bar of 16th notes right one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a and what we'll do is, well, you take the number of notes that you've got and you just divide them up into smaller numbers. So say that 16, well, you could do that as four groups of four. Now, when you, the, the idea is when you've got an even number of notes in your group, you play uh, two kicks at the end, right? When you've got an odd number of notes in your group, you play one kick at the end. Otherwise, you just play single stroke roll. So I'll demonstrate this. Taking, taking our example there of four groups of four, well, four is an even number, right? So that's two kicks at the end. So four would be right, left, kick, kick. So to repeat, you always play single stroke roll, starting with your lead stick, and you play either one kick at the end, if it's an odd number of notes, and an even number of notes is two kicks at the end, right? So in four, we're gonna do... You got it? So that would, four groups of four would go... And that would be your one bar 16th note linear fill if you call that four, 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 four. One, two, three, four. You got it? So that would give you. You got it? Three and four and right. right. That's a really simple example. Let's pick another one. Let's do let's do one that goes five, three, five, three. Okay, so we need groups that add up to 16, right? Because again, in these simple examples, we're gonna play a bar of 16th notes. So five, right, that's an odd number. So that would be right, left, right, left, kick. Remember, odd number is a single kick at the end. Even number is two kicks at the end. And remember, it starts with a single stroke roll with your lead stick. So five would be, for me, I'm right-handed, right, left, right, left, kick. You get it? Odd number of notes, so one kick at the end. So five, three, well, three, you're also going to have a uh, single kick at the end. So that'll be right, left, kick. And we're just going to repeat that. So five, three, five, three would give you one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. You got it?
Now, with so many of these fills, where the fun starts is like how you play it around the kit, right? In the first case, I always think it's nice to go beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, like like that. You don't have to. You can do it all on the snare drum or you can do it any way you like, but I would certainly keep it simple. The orchestration, I'd keep simple at first. Here it comes, five, three, five, three. Remember the five is, and the three is, both odd numbers, so single stroke roll, single kick at the end. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. I'll play around the kit. And when you get the feel, obviously, start to move it around the kit. getting it so that's five three five three adding up to 16 and let's do so we've done an example that has even numbers we've done an example that has odd numbers let's do an example that has a combination let's do for example oh let's do eight three five okay that makes 16 doesn't it so what you've got here is um eight it's an even number so two kicks at the end so right, left, right, left, right, left, kick, kick for your eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, single stroke roll, starting with your lead stick. Two kicks at the end. So the eight is. Then a three. Odd number, so one kick at the end. And then a five odd number, so one kick at the end. You got it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, that's eight, three, five. And here we go. You got it? I'll play around the kit. You got it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So that is just the tip of the tip of the iceberg. So what this page does is goes through and presents loads and loads of those different uh, combinations. You can obviously think of them yourself, right? If you can think of numbers that add up to 16, then you can do it. Or you can even think of numbers that add up to eight. You can do five and a three and just repeat it. Or you can do, uh, you know, whatever, anything you like, man. It, the, the options are endless. But in the book, what they give you is a whole load of examples to get you going. That's just in the 16th note feel. Of course, you can do it with sextuplets. You can do it with 30 second notes. But that's a really good place to start, those three uh, variations. So that's the system, man. Simple as that. It's solid note value all the way through. In this case, it's one whole bar. It doesn't have to be in the real world, but a good place to start is one whole bar. And you just add it up and divide it up even into smaller groups, right? You play single stroke roll, starting with your lead stick, and you play two kicks at the end. If an even number is two kicks and an odd number, single kick at the end, all right? That's it, man. As long as it adds up to the number of notes you're playing, you're in business. It's a brilliant way to come up with endless, endless linear drum fills. I think when you see sometimes drummers flying around the kit, playing that stuff, it's so easy to think it's more complicated than that but it, it really really isn't man so i massively massively recommend checking out that book i'll link to that in the description below uh that's just been years and years of enjoyment and development of those fills uh, for me and um if that's something you're into i'd 100 recommend that probably above anything else when you're just getting started with those with those linear fills nothing i play on the linear front is ever very complicated um i just love simple things and my aim is always to try and obviously play them as cleanly as possible and sort of and, and the musical interest comes from how you all 
orchestrate around the kit uh, as much as like the actual speed of the pattern or um, anything more complicated than that. It's just the yeah, orchestration, man, is one of the things that really brings it to life. So thanks for watching. I hope that's useful. And uh, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, thanks to all the amazing people who've supported this channel via my Buy Me A Coffee support page. Uh, I'll link to that in the description below as well. Uh, thanks a million to all the lovely people who've bought me a coffee. And thanks a million to all the amazing uh, monthly members signing up. Can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Another one just now uh, just before I did this video. Uh, thanks a million. I'll do some nice shout outs on the next video for the new uh, members. Uh, so as a monthly member, £10 a month, you get a whole load of great features. You'll be supporting this channel, of course, helping it grow. But you also get a whole load of other stuff. You get um, members videos. You get ongoing drum support. You send your uh, questions to me, or videos of you practicing to me. I'll give you, give, give you feedback. Uh, you get a free Zoom. I'll write for you a customized practice plan. And just uh, I'll get your requests, um, priority requests for videos on the channel and a whole load of other stuff as well. If that's of interest and if you found these videos helpful, useful, entertaining in any way and um, you're in a position to, please consider supporting the channel in those ways if you can. Thanks a million. Have fun with your linear fills. Can't recommend time functioning patterns by Gary Chafee enough. And see you soon. Cheers.